Hi, welcome to day one of our fall break 2021 Disney World trip. We are starting things off right by coming to Disney Springs. We're gonna have lunch at the boathouse, walk around and do some shopping, and then we're gonna check into our villa at Saratoga Springs. So come with us. So pro tip, go up to the upper levels of the parking garages at Disney Springs. This is the Lime Garage. The first two level, or first three levels really were totally full almost. Look at the fourth level. There's like nobody up here. Here we are. In Disney Springs. So we are here to eat at the boathouse and just seeing so you know, a stroller parking is right over there. So you got the boutique. It's a gift shop and the actual restaurants over here. Kids got mac and cheese and these french fries and a cool boat car, amphi car. Really cool. The mac and cheese. Hi. Got the lobster roll. It looks really good. It tastes like the same. I like it. It's pretty good. Ginger. I got the filet mignon sliders. And they look really good. It's just like the mac and cheese at the place that they only The license plate says I float on the back of the kids' mailbox things. You can also get photos of you with your Amphicar. I don't see pricing on those. I do see a magic band reader though, so maybe. I'd be curious to know if that comes with your me uh, memory maker or not. There's the boathouse. And right over here to the right is Gideon's Bakehouse. That's I'll give you a little wayfinding there. So we just enjoyed a delicious lunch at Boathouse. Uh, really, really highly recommend that meal. I had the filet mignon sliders. They were fantastic. They had this like butter sauce on them. They're so good. And you had the lobster roll, right? Mm -hmm. um, which, if you like lobster, there were huge pieces of lobster in that. So now we're going to swing by World of Disney, and then we're going to head in, check into our hotel, and then we're going to head over to Boo Bash. This is inside World of Disney, right in front of... Now this is Saratoga Springs, so everything is themed after Saratoga Springs in New York. And uh, horse racing is obviously a big part of the theming here. So you see that in a lot of the decor elements. But this is a great property. If you have a family of four or five and you just want a little bit of extra space for your family, and if you also want some great added amenities like a full kitchen, in-unit laundry, separate sleeping spaces for kids and parents, you really can't do better than this particular location, I think. You can sleep three people out in this living room space. So over here, you can see underneath the television, we have a single pull-down bed, which is plenty spacious for a child. And there's some great artwork under here. You got Goofy um, sitting on the back of his horse here. These rooms were recently renovated and you can definitely tell um, that there is some just beautiful decor touches throughout. Uh, we have this sofa area here with an ottoman, but this actually becomes a pull down queen Murphy bed. I'm not gonna pull it all the way down because I'm in here filming this by myself and it is a little easier to pull that down with two people but you can see we also have some great artwork of mickey and minnie and the clubhouse pals over here we can see in unit laundry we have the stackable washer and dryer a separate sleeping space here you do have your own door for plenty of privacy i love this room it's a great size room before we head over to the Boobash, we've got dining reservations at the Grand Floridian Cafe. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Never gets old walking in here. So we got a very good seat in Grand Floridian Cafe. Right by the window. We have 
to see out the window there. Really pretty view. That's an even prettier view right there. <laughs> Checking out the menu. So Boobash starts at admission starts at 7 p.m. This is the line waiting to get in for Boobash at 6:40. So we fully anticipate that when we get inside this entrance right here, they're gonna before we go under the bridge right up there. Before we go under the bridge, under the railroad, they're gonna hand us a band to put around our wrist, which indicates that we are part of the Boobash. So that when the park closes at nine o'clock, uh, all the people who have the wristband can still hang around. We found Waldo. He's right there. <laughs> so that's the the band you get to signify that you are part of after hours. So that when the park closes, they don't kick you out. We found Waldo again. We found him. Got beautiful decorations there at the front. Right over here, we got after hours boobash entrance. So as you come in, they're handing out candy bags right as you come in the door there. And the, the pumpkins are, are flashing up there. See you real soon. That's great. So they just redid the confectionery on Main Street and they actually enlarged it. They took over the chapeau, so it is huge now. It goes all the way down to here like extra purchase things that you can get. You can get the mocha chocolate chip frozen drink, the apple ginger dale frozen drink. I'm gonna have to try that one since that's my uh, name. A foolish mortal funnel cake, Maleficent churro. That sounds pretty good. And then here's just the different events that are going on right here on the left. You can see they have some special character sightings and cavalcades, special magic shots through photo pass. And if we open the map up, you can see different places that you can find characters or food and beverage stops throughout Magic Kingdom. Walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. So this is interesting because this is definitely the most crowded it's going to be. They started moving the line to let people in at 10 minutes till 7. We were in the park by 7 o'clock. So these next two hours, between 7 and 9, whenever... The regular mission guests are still here too. That's by far going to be the most crowded two hours. After that, it'll be very interesting to see the difference in the crowd levels. So here's crowd levels at 7.06, 7.06 p.m. right now. We'll get another shot down Main Street here later on. It'll be very interesting to see the difference in levels, crowd levels. So you can see just how many people there are waiting for Enchantment to start. Enchantment is the new um, fireworks show in Magic Kingdom. It replaced Happily Ever After. So from the time we got in the ride queue until we got on the ride was five minutes on People Mover. It was really, really crowded uh, on the in the pub area everybody go ahead and get in their spot for enchantment and we're like you know what we paid a good bit of money to come to boobash and we're gonna get some stuff done so we are uh, we're gonna be riding rides leading up to eight o'clock then we'll watch enchantment and then we'll get right back to riding rides it was main street at night from the people mover and the castle a little view of tron here it's so big. Really cool. It's so big. Yeah. So we are standing behind the Plaza restaurant. This is our view of the castle. It's pretty good. Here's the edge of the Plaza restaurant. These are the bathrooms over here. These are the bathrooms leading over to Tomorrowland Terrace. We are standing right back here and we have a pretty direct view of the castle. It's really good. Those are, those are huge, aren't they? Yeah. 
Okay, so reactions from having seen Happily Ever After in person, I'll let you go first. So I feel like Disney Enchantment is a great fireworks show. Yeah, I meant Enchantment, my bad, sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> the, the fireworks are very impressive, like very, very impressive. The designs of them, the timing with the music, very impressive. I love the projections down Main Street, I think that's awesome. But I don't have chill bumps the way I did with Happily Ever After. So I miss Happily Ever After. But I did like this, and it is a great show. So we watched Enchantment the first night it was on. And I mean, we were both kind of like, well, that's nice. You know, <laughs> it, it didn't blow us away like Happily Ever After did. I can say definitively, like, it is 4,000 times better in person than it was online. Those fireworks were huge. Like uh, in some of the videos we got, you can see it in this in this vlog. That um, the, I mean, just look at the size of the fireworks compared to the size of the castle for perspective. Like they are ginormous, and they had a lot. Like, especially in the Frozen Two part, there were some really good timed, synced up ones when it would hit strong notes in the songs that you'd see them pop and stuff, which was really cool. Um, but it was. Our son said, "Don't give spoilers." <laughs> um, but it was it was really good. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as Happily Ever, especially the grand finale. The fireworks part of Happily Ever After's grand finale was incredible. I mean, it was just like bam, 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 and this was pretty good too. Um, but it wasn't as good as those. It's pretty on all those lights, isn't it? water so it looks like um whenever the water comes down the um water becomes colorful i agree but the lights change color under the water mm -hmm. i agree all right you ready yeah okay <laughs> are you gonna ride um journey little mermaid after this yeah. Cool. Oh, look at how pretty the castle is. That's why I want to go. You see it over there? Look over there. It's so pretty. I think Cinderella might be getting dressed. You think Cinderella what? Might be getting dressed. She might be getting dressed soon. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. She got a big ball tonight to go to. There's Mama and Bubba back there. So at Ariel's Grotto, there's one treat station. Anywhere you see the big glowing M&M's thing. It's not really calibrated. <laughs> the middle one was calibrated pretty good. So we, la we waited less than eight minutes. Twenty minutes. Bouncing with you. Follow me. Right this way. So we waited what, just about eight minutes to get on Winnie the Pooh. We had waited zero seconds for uh, Journey of the Little Mermaid. We waited less than one minute for Dumbo. And we were in line for Tomorrowland Speedway, but about 10 minutes into it, it broke down, so we had to get off. But that's pretty dang I'm good, you know. One minute, zero seconds, and eight minutes. So far, it's pretty good. There's a tree stop right here at 
Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. Took them like 20 seconds to just go straight through there, get your candy, come on out. Here's a good crowd level indicator. Look how few people are on the teacups. The time before this, there were only, I think, two cups that had people in it. Pinocchio Village House. <laughs> right outside Princess Fairy Tale Hall is the Evil Queen. Ask her why she tried to poison Snow White. There you go. Why did you try to poison Snow White? Poison Snow White. I'm going to do such a thing. I would have so many people perhaps <laughs> it says Peter Pan is a 35 minute wait. It's a small world, it is a walk on, so we're gonna do it and we'll monitor that Peter Pan as the evening progresses. The smoke coming out of the graveyard over there. I saw him from the fire. Yeah. So coming down through Frontierland. It's Maleficent. You can see her green eyes and you see her breathe fire once in a while. And there's some characters from, looks like Chip and Dale are up there on that balcony up there. Inside the tiki room is a treat stop. We got Pirate Goofy over here, right outside of Pirates of the Caribbean. Do what? I do. You want to stand in front of me? I'll get your photo with you. There's some crowd levels for you at 11:41 p.m. Normally a very crowded corridor between Peter Pan and it's a small world. Peter Pan was supposed to a 25 minute wait, it was actually only 20 minutes. One thing we've noticed tonight for sure is that they are much more uh, open to where you park your stroller at this event since the crowds are so low than they are during the daytime. As evidenced by all these strollers and electric scooters parked right through here. A button jumbled down there. You can see some over here. Normally they're supposed to be back in there where we park, so they're much more open to that at this this event. We also rode the carousel, and there was a zero zero wait for it. We just hopped right on it. Ginger and our son rode Big Thunder Mountain. They said it was a walk on. My daughter and I rode Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was a walk on too. I also got my lemon soft serve tonight. I'm so glad it was back. Right out here outside of Sir Mickey's is Corella DeVille. Do you have a good pirate right art? Over here no, you don't is have Captain Hook. Right and then friends, for those who are just joining us, there's no line. Just find a place to stand along the black bridge. It's right beside the castle. Outside the castle, there is a dance party going on. Main Street at night is absolutely beautiful. Do I? Oh, yeah. That's great. And you can tell the crowd levels are nowhere near what they were earlier. Earlier, this was absolutely packed. The crowd levels are nowhere near that right now. The Cinderella pumpkins. Very cool. So pretty down through here. So pretty. 
Kansas City Hall. Oh, that's cool. And the clock at City Hall is currently orange. Orange is red. So it's now 12.01 and all the clubhouse pals are coming out to say goodnight to everybody. There's Daisy. There's Pluto. Mickey. As you exit, see you real soon. Very cool. Really pretty at the entrance out here right now. There's a 50 in the grass right there. So I did, we did conquer the people mover tonight. Uh, we are back at our hotel room. It is 1.01 a.m. <laughs> um, our kids are asleep. And, um, we were able to do quite a bit. We got some popcorn. Everybody got popcorn. Uh, you know, it comes with drinks and, and popcorn and Mickey Premium bars included. So our son got a Mickey Premium bar. Um, all, all in all, we rode the Carousel, Journey and the Little Mermaid, Dumbo. Um, our daughter and I rode Pirates. Ginger and her son rode uh, Big Thunder Mountain. We all rode um, Magic Carpets of Aladdin. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting one. Um, the carousel. Yeah, I got the carousel. Uh, small World. Oh, it's a small world. We rode that. Yeah, I forgot that one. Do I think it was worth it? It's a really tough question. On on the one hand, no, because I always felt like I needed to be getting my money's worth. You know, we paid we paid one fifty nine ninety nine per person for that party tonight, and that was a lot of money. And so I kept feeling like I can, we gotta get our money's worth. Let's go do another ride. But then you want to make sure you get you're eating popcorn and Mickey premium bars to make sure you're getting your money's worth out of that because that's included. And so you gotta like stop to eat, but you wanna keep going. and So you feel torn no matter what you do. You're like, How am I getting all my money's worth? And so, yeah, yeah, that was rough. But then, you know, special moments happen. Like getting to ride Dumbo with our daughter again and hearing how excited she is on it. And getting to ride Pirates and her, her questions and stuff during it. And for, you know, 160 bucks, yeah, I'll, I'll take that for the memories uh, that, that I got with her. So, is it worth it? Yes and no. Um, I think we made memories that will last a long, long time. And for that, I'm thankful. So, um, we appreciate everybody joining us tonight and all day long really and if um if you want to book a vacation with ginger just go to gingermmt.com it's totally free to book through her uh, the same price you would book doing it on your own so uh, it's a win-win for everybody uh, thank you all and we'll see you very soon <laughs>